Hey guys, and thanks for stopping by my channel. So today is going to be about the app called Hush. Now, I don't know what happened with Hush, but they suddenly purged all of their inventory, and if you didn't know what Hush is, it's like this uh, website that you can go and buy beauty products like, you know, makeup and skincare and hair care and stuff like that. I used to shop at Hush every now and then, not too often. I'm not sure if they went out of business, but they got rid of their complete inventory and they slashed the prices next to nothing. So what I did was I jumped on that <laughs> and I got myself some more products. Now I do have um, one of their palettes, one of their eyeshadow palettes, where is it? This is the Aphrodite palette right here and this is my personal one, which I'm actually wearing today. And here are uh, the colors and I bought an extra one of these because I'm gonna be doing a giveaway so stick around in the video and you'll see the giveaway prizes up in this first box this is all for me this is uh, my haul here and I opened the boxes but I didn't look inside yet so they're all really nicely packaged <clears throat> excuse me in bubble wrap now, uh, I don't know if I can, I don't think I can get you the prices anymore because the website is like dead now and I deleted the app from my phone. But these are dupes of popular eyeshadow palettes and I'm not very like well in tune with like, oh, that's the Huda palette, oh, that's the Jeffree Star palette. I don't know what, looking at a palette, I don't know what it's a dupe for. But I've heard these are really good dupes. I do like the way they blend. There is a little bit of fallout with them. They're kind of powdery, but they're very soft. They blend nicely. As far as my experiences with the uh, things I've gotten from Hush, everything that I purchased from Hush is from a company called Bad Habit. So Hush itself isn't the brand. It's just like Ulta, you know, like you go there and then you can pick from different brands. The first palette that I got, I paid about a dollar something for this palette. I think it was originally don't quote me, it's either eight or $12. So this is the After Hours by Bad Habit. And this is what the inside looks like. Uh, and basically why I bought these, cause I really don't need more makeup, is just so I have more colors to choose from. I tend to like be drawn to red for some reason. Um, the next one that I got, and these are all going to be the same price. This was also like a dollar something. Also by Bad Habit. This is called Aftershock. This one's in a box. So in Aftershock, these are kind of crazy colors. But, you know, I want to experiment. And for the price, I could not say no. So there's those colors. And those would be really nice for like a little pop of color in the middle of your lid. Like, I'm talking like I know what I'm, what I, I know what I'm saying. I, I just, that's what I hear the beauty gurus say, you know, like just a little pop of color. All right, now this is a larger palette and I believe these were originally $16 and I paid, um, I want to say $3 in some sense for these. If I ever get the community tab, as soon as I know about these deals, I will definitely share them with you. But since I didn't have the community tab, I felt kind of bad. Did I say this was called Solstice? Uh, I felt kind of bad, so I decided to go back and buy some for a giveaway so that at least like if you didn't get on get in on it and you wanted to, you can have a chance to win some for yourself. I mean, with the prices the way they are, like it wasn't that expensive. I think this box here shipped, shipping was the most expensive, it was $5, and shipped it was less than, sorry I have a ditch, less than $20. This one is called Supernova, and just for like the sake of my sanity, I'm just ripping the boxes open, because I can't get them open. If you have na nice nails, there's no way, you're not getting this box open. I don't have nice nails and I can't get this box open. <laughs> okay, so here's the Supernova packaging. I'm not going to swatch these because that would take forever. And I don't really want to touch them until I'm ready to use them. I hope you guys can understand that. 
Uh, but here's the colors for Super no yeah, Supernova. So this one, again, this is one of the larger palettes. So this one's like around $3 and some change. And then the last palette for me is the Fantasia palette right here. Let's open this up. And this is what those colors look like. Now, obviously, my lighting is going to, like, mess up the coloring a little bit. But you get the idea, I hope. So now I have, like... A plethora of eyeshadows that I did not need <laughs> but now I have more choices and choices are nice okay so now let's get into these boxes now a couple of these products I think are for me but the rest are for you so the first palette I am NOT even going to take it out of the bubble wrap okay it will never ever be touched this is the aftershock palette if you remember this was kind of like the really bright crazy colors this is for one of you. The next palette is the Athena palette. I have this palette, but to be honest, I <laughs> can't find it. I think it's like somewhere in the back of my, um, under my faucet in the cabinet, and I really don't want to pull it out. But the Athena palette and the Aphrodite palette are probably the most common, the most popular palettes for Bad Habit. I don't know what this is it's supposed to be a dupe for, but it's like one of the popular eyeshadows. I don't know. This is going in the giveaway. I'm not gonna open it to show you what it looks like, sorry. All right, here's the Aphrodite palette, like the palette I showed you. And this is the Supernova palette, which is, I think, the one that I got. I will do, if I have time, I will do a little bit of swatching of the Aphrodite palette just to show you what it looks like. The next box. Oh, I hit the camera, sorry. The next box is After Dark. Do I have this one? No, this is... Okay, so this one's mine. This is the After Dark. It's in a box. Of course it is. So I got the After Hours and I got the After Dark. I'm gonna have every single color known to man. Kinda, does it kinda look like the Solstice palette? It's very like brown and gives me fall vibes. Okay, this one's also mine. This was before, <laughs> This was before I decided to um, do a giveaway as well. This is the Inferno palette. Take it. Up. Just those. Lots of nice browns. I have a long way to go <clears throat> learning makeup. I can't say that I don't have makeup to learn with. Let's see. Okay, so I got you guys an Inferno palette as well, which I'm not gonna open. I hope you like that palette. And then the last two palettes that I got, these are for me. This one's called uh, Bad Habit, or I'm sorry, Light Speed by Bad Habit. And like I said, um, I think I have every bad habit palette there is now. I don't remember how much these long ones cost, but I wanna say probably around $3. Come on. Serious. Thank God for editing, that's all I can say. This is what it looks like and I was kind of like not sure if I wanted it or not because it was like blue and black and white basically but for the sake of a collection like now I have a collection oh and I really like this color right here it's called gravity and it's like a gray color really like that and then the last palette is called retro love
Okay, so this is, looks like there's two shimmers and a bunch of mattes in here. Interesting colors. So, basically I have them all now. <laughs> this whole box, look at this. This is ridiculous for someone that barely does their makeup. But I mean, the quality and the price, like, I'm gonna have to store these in a way that like, they stay fresh and yummy and good for me, okay? But these are the ones that I'm giving, giving away. So we've got the Inferno palette, which is staying in the bubble wrap, okay? Uh, the Supernova, and then the two heavy hitters, um, the Aphrodite and the Athena palette. So let's go ahead and swatch some of the Aphrodite palette. Okay, so let's just take some, it is powdery, okay, I don't know if you can tell, but like it does, it is a little messy, but that's the price you pay for like, um, getting a deal, I guess. All right, so let's take Jealousy, and like, I don't know what I'm doing, okay? Oh. I don't know, are you supposed to go over it a lot? <laughs> But it's really blendable. I don't know if you can tell. Like, look at that. Look at the blending. It's blending. It's blending really nice. And now it looks like I have a bruise on my arm. All right, um, let's try a shimmer. Let's try this. This one's called Sparks, and it is a little bit chunky. It's a gold. I do find that their shimmers are a little chunky, but they are workable. So there's the gold one. <laughs> what am I doing? Right over my mole too, gross. Okay, uh, let's try this color flirt. It's like a crazy pink color right there. Uh, I'm just gonna do a couple of them and then I'll show you like all of them together. This one's called Infatuation. The light's kind of like reflecting on it really nicely. It's really not that gold in real life. It's more like a goldy brown. Yeah, you'll be able to tell on my arm. Okay, um, let's do, how are we doing on time? Heartbreak looks like a black. Yes, heartbreak is a black. Let's do something colorful maybe. Um, how about seduction? Seduction. Not really colorful, but let's do this one. A door. Oh, that one. That one really doesn't. I'm gonna be like all those other YouTubers. I don't know how to swatch. It's true though, I don't. Okay. If it doesn't show up good on camera, maybe I'll take a picture or something. I don't know. Let's do one more and that's it because this is getting long. How about this? Uh, let's see this okay. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very fair skinned. So if you have a darker skin tone, just take that into account. But this is just to show the blendability. It's very blendable. Uh, and these are just some of the colors. This is not all of them, but just some of them. So you're probably wondering, okay, how do I win this stuff? I'm not gonna tell you because I've gotta get rid of my first giveaway first. So if you're interested, Subscribe. I need to hit 600 subscribers so I can get rid of my first giveaway. Then, when I get there, we will talk about all of this goodness, including what's on my arm here, including the bruise. So, subscribe, stick around. You'll never know what you're going to find on this channel. Trust me, there's different things coming, I promise. All right, thanks for stopping by. Bye.